some of George Powell's films I don't mind, some of them I don't love and Jasper Goes Hunting is not one that I particularly enjoyed. This is actually the only Jasper um, short film that I've seen. I'm aware that there are several others. If there are others that you think I might like more than this, please feel free to let me know. But th there were good things about the film, but for me personally, I didn't find it entertaining. This was released in 1944. It's directed by George Pyle and Robert Clampett. And Robert Clampett's there because Bugs Bunny makes an appearance. And it is a crossover, uh, a very brief crossover, and that's the reason that I actually watched this, as I'm working my way through some of the Bugs Bunnies I haven't seen. And I became very curious about this, because I hadn't heard of it. I won't say what Bugs' involvement is, or what you can expect from it, but it's it's enjoyable. It's a little bit bizarre, and I feel like it was unnecessary, and it kind of pulled me out of the narrative that was there, even though it kind of fit in without feeling forced. It's hard to explain without going into spoiler details, but I just felt like it was an unnecessary crossover. Um, and to be honest, I feel like it was a bit gimmicky and kind of detracted from the point of the message or the point of the narrative. But the, the narrative is about a scarecrow who tells Jasper about his time in the Belgian Congo when he was hunting. And we have these scenes of him hunting and there are a few bits I like. For example, um, I won't go into too much detail, but on a, on a gun he can... Um, I don't know the technical terms. I don't like guns, but he can change it so that it says hippo or whatever animal he's trying to shoot. Honestly, the narrative I found not that interesting. The pacing of it, though, was quite good. And I feel like some of the stop motion was actually pretty decent. Some of the facial expressions were okay. Um, we had some pretty good camera work, but the actual narrative didn't speak to me. I didn't really get anything from it. Some of it felt a little bit awkward. I don't know if it's maybe just a product of its time. Um, my cat's clearly meowing in protest. She decided to have her mad half hour this morning, right before I started to watch this. And that is wholly irrelevant to the point of this discussion. The point of this is, I didn't love it. I will never watch it again. I, I don't mind having seen it, but I'm not suddenly going, ooh, I want to watch more of the Jasper cartoons. I want to see what they're like, uh, or the Jasper films. I'm really not that bothered. That's not to say that I won't ever watch them, because I probably will. I do have plans to watch more of George, George Pal's puppetoons, if you can recommend any. Please feel free to do so. But for me, Jasper Goes Hunting just didn't work for me personally. I didn't enjoy the narrative. I didn't enjoy some of the actual stop motion aspects but some of it I did so as I said it's not completely terrible it's not it's it's definitely a film of two halves for me it's never going to be my favorite I'd say watch it if you're a fan of George Pal but if you've never seen anything from George Pal before I'd say don't make this the first one you watch I don't know which I'd recommend uh, but definitely not this one it's not the worst thing I've ever seen but it definitely isn't great <laughs>